Breaking news. UN sends a serious message to Nigerian government. Your failure, yes, your failure to deal with diversity and ensure truth, honesty, has brought about crisis of Biafra and Oduduwa's Republic in Nigeria. Deal with it. So UN, United Nations, uh, recently the whole of Nigeria, I mean, not the whole of Nigeria, most people have sent message to UN why they had their general meeting in the form of coming out as a protest to say, we need your attention, we need referendum to be done in Nigeria, we need urgent attention, uh, we want, uh, you know, referendum to be carried out in the country. However, we've not heard from that. What we just recently heard now is you went, you know, saying to Nigerian government that you are the cause of the problem in your country. Yes, you are the cause. You did not, you failed to listen. You failed to do the right thing. You failed to administer true justice and truth. That's why things are the way they are. If you have done the right thing, if you have, you have listened to the people, you have handled issues the way you should, there should be no problem. So this is UN position as to why Nigeria is the way it is. You know, they are saying to Buhari, it's largely your fault. You have not negotiated with your people. You've not dialogued with them. You've not cared to listen to them. Force does not always prevail. You know, let's get all the details. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. United Nations told Nigerian government, failure. Nigerian leaders to deal with diversity is the root of Biafra and Oduduwa's crisis in the country. The person who made a presentation in South Africa, a former president, Tabu, who lived in Nigeria for a few years in the late 70s, during the anti approach struggle, gave the lecture. BK addresses recall that the Nigerian government was victorious against sections seeking Biafra 50 years ago and his leaders announced that they would follow a policy of no victory, no, no retreat. Looking at the painful example of the ongoing conflict between the Ethiopia government and the ethnic groups, this is exactly what Ethiopia also needs. Mabo cited the failure on proper management of diversity in Congo and other area and also Nigeria, telling the Nigerian government that your failure to address and to appreciate that there are different nationalities, different people brought together as one is the reason why these things prevail. And the Nigerian government must act fast in relation to bring people together and understand first of all that there is diversity. They spoke on the UN Secretary Council meeting on diversity, state building, and the search for peace that was organized by Kenya, which held the council presidency this month and chairman of the president of others, saying it is important that the Nigerian government appreciate that there are different people and work with all individuals to ensure everyone is happy. That's a good position to look, that's a good way to look at it, to ensure that everyone is happy. But is everyone truly happy? Is everyone truly happy? Because like you know, talk is cheap. Okay, is everyone truly happy? The government of Nigeria are the very sad people, the very same one who are destroying their own people. How do we, how do we reconcile? How do we sort out these issues? How do we really sort out this issue? The president of the country, like you guys highlighted, do not recognize that there is diversity. I want everybody to be subordinated, bow down and put down. The president wants everybody, you know, to be to be to be to be so, to be subject to do what I say. Now this is your leader. Follow your leader. You don't get it, but I mean, you're talking to intelligent people, yes, and they will have to ask you questions like why? Why should we do it? And you should be humble enough. As a, as, a, as a leader, to recognize that they have a right to ask a question and you are obligated to answer. You see, the whole, the whole course for Yoruba Nation and the rest would have been quenched if the government of Nigeria has done the right thing at the right time. Instead of trying to suppress the people and oppress, oppress them, it does not take it away. That you are oppressing the people does not take the truth away. The truth will always be there. The truth will ever be there.
So you trying to oppress and suppress the people. You trying to, you know, do one thing or the other to the people in order to make it look like you have your way is never the way forward. It's never the way forward. And UN, I was thinking that the UN will do much more. Yes, I was thinking that UN will do much more. Honestly, I was thinking that they will really come to address some of these issues and understand where the Nigerian people are coming from and why things are the way they are and move things even further rather than just, you know, give an ambiguous or a blanket, uh, uh, you know, position. It does not solve the issue on ground. There are many issues currently going on in the country. And you're not airing your voice, putting out your, you know, uh, position that is really, you know, cogent. I mean, addressing the real issue is not helping matters. It's not. It's not. You went had their meeting. There was, there were people at the, at the entrance, you know, trying to get your attention. Is that not enough to say, was this, you are being sent an investigation team to understand why these people are there? And understand what 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 their what their grievances are, so that you can prefer solution. You are supposed to be the United Nations. You are supposed to be understanding what these people, you know, where they are coming from, and why there is so much unrest, so that you can adequately provide solution. If you don't know what the issue is, you cannot provide solution. You have to first of all know what the issue is. You have to first of all understand what what the issue, the real matter is. So these are some of the things happening. These are some of the things, you know, going on, you know. And the UN, all they said is that um, there's diversity and the government of Nigeria, you know, and they also made mention of other African countries that are going through one problem or the other. Understanding or acknowledging that there is a problem is not enough. It does not solve the problem in totality. What solves a problem is understanding, accepting that there is a problem, then engaging, bringing out solutions, working on it intentionally, engage with the people, engage with the problem, carve out a way. What can we do? How can we sort it out? What's the next step? This is the way you can truly make a meaningful and a decisive change. But just being there, making an ambiguous statement, uh, there is diversity, you don't recognize it, you need to recognize diversity, does not solve anybody's problem. Where has, how has it solved anybody's problem? So we must come to the realization and really ask ourselves, do these people really want to sort out the problem in Nigeria? Do they really have anything to contribute? If not, then we know what we are up to. Leave us a comment. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.